Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Today is a huge day for Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. We have our first major update. We're going to go over the patch notes real quick, and then we'll jump into the new biome, the salt pits. Uh, it looks really cool. It looks like there's some uh, sort of environmental hazards that we can do on the enemies. We can drop this stalagmite on them, but it looks really cool. Th this is actually a pretty big update, bigger than I was thinking it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be um, a new biome, but they actually added a lot, so we'll kind of go through it all. So, obviously, uh, new biome, the salt pits. Uh, I guess this was in the original Deep Rock Galactic. Never really played it too much, but I'm assuming they're going to bring most of the content from that game to this game. So th that's really all there is to say about this. We're going to get two new enemies, though. We're going to get, uh, I don't even know how to say these, Quoronar Youngling, and then a Youngling Mini Elite. Um, falling of rocks and dense terrain are not the only challenge in the salt pits. We're introducing the Youngling, a pesky little creep that rolls after you and bounces when hitting terrain. The larger Mini Elite version that spawns intermittently in stages can even roll through the rocks and stones of the salt pits and carve out tunnels. That's pretty sweet. Those are two, uh, you know, two new unique enemy types, which is pretty cool. We're getting three new artifacts, three new artifacts, and they're all really good. They're all really good artifacts, which is awesome. So we're going to get we're going to get the mocap, which increases your damage by one percent for every for every percentage of missing HP. So if you're missing 50% of your HP, you're gonna get 50% damage. That's huge. Those are huge. This is a huge one. This one's gonna be a big damage increase. And then we're gonna get the salty pretzel, which is gonna increase your armor by one for every 2% of your health missing. So that's pretty good too. So you can easily get like a 20% armor buff. These are all really good for survivability, for damage. And then the last one, the diver's manual, is another really good just this one's a really good overall uh, one that you probably almost always take, I would think, because there's no negative to it. But you're going to get just an instant 10% damage, 10% reload speed, 5% crit chance, and then 20% crit damage. If you can get this one along with like the crit goggles, the nitra powder, and then maybe even the mocap now or the gold tip bullets, like if you can get all four of those in a run, you'll be doing some insane damage. So it's pretty cool. I'm glad to see these three new artifacts because a lot of the artifacts in the game right now, I don't think are very good. There's only a handful of ones that are that are really great. Uh, a lot of them are really underwhelming, but you'll see that they did buff some of them as we move down. Um, so they added some new achievements. Uh, we get die three times. Oh, man. <laughs> reach 50 armor and then kill the dreadnought with less than 30 hp left we definitely have done that before um they lowered some of the requirements for the biome challenges so a lot of people were struggling with the gold and nitra challenges so they lowered those to 275 nitra and then 550 gold i don't think i've done the nitra one yet but i did do the gold one um they gave you overclocks to unlock right from the start which is nice so if you're a brand new player this is this is nice for new players, obviously. So if you're a new player jumping into the game, you're going to have four overclocks for the starting weapons right away, which is great. And now let's go into weapon buffs and nerfs. Uh, Thunderhead looks like it gets a pretty good buff. It's going to zap more targets. Uh, the status effect stack increase from one to three. And then we're going to be doing 12 from 12 damage to 16. That's great. Uh, the smart rifle gets a buff too. I assume this is hopefully a decent buff. It's going to increase the damage from 35 to 40. The smart rifle is probably the weakest gun in the game. I know a lot of people like to make fun of the crisper. I think the smart rifle is probably the worst weapon in the game. But anyways, 35 to 44 damage, and then it reduced the lock on time from 0.2 to 0.15. So like a 25% reduction and then I don't know, maybe like a 25% increase in damage that's pretty good i still don't know if that's going to make it good though i don't i think that weapon needs a lot more than just some damage and lock on buffs for it to be good but we'll see i mean we'll try it at some point um crisper gets a buff initial damage from 20 to 28 uh the voltic stun sweeper 
gets reduced reload time, so that's a buff. Uh, the Wave Cooker increased damage from 80 to 94. That's pretty strong. And then the status effect stacks from 6 to 8, so another good buff for that one. The Incendiary Grenade, the impact damage from 75 to 85, so that's a buff. A lot of these weapons are getting buffed, with this, which is great, but you are going to see some nerfs here when we get to the bottom. Uh, Breach Cutter gets a nice buff from 25 to 32, and increased effect stacks from 2 to 4. The High Explosive Grenade gets a reduced fuse time from 2 to 1.5, so it's going to just blow up quicker. And now, the obvious nerfs. Um, <laughs> the M1000 Classic gets its damage reduced. The, luckily, these aren't huge nerfs, so I don't think they're going to make the guns unusable, but we I think we kind of saw these coming. Uh, so the M1000 Classic gets damage reduced by 5. That's not a lot. It, al it already does high damage. So dropping it to 140, that's a very small percentage and drop. And then reduced fire rate. Um, so this actually this actually is a little bit of a buff then. So if the fire rate is 5 seconds to 0.45, that's a little bit of a buff. So maybe this one just evens out. Um, this one, I guess, is kind of the same too. Thunderhead, uh, we're going to get a reduction in damage by 8. But then reduced fire rate um, from 2.86 seconds to 2.5. Uh, let's see, we got Seismic Repulsor, uh, reduced damage from 20 to 18, and then reduced target triggering speed. I'm not sure exactly what that means, like how often it does its thumps. That could be what that means, I'm not exactly sure. But it goes from 1.33 to 0.83, which is, that's actually a huge reduction. Okay, and then we have some artifact, um, I think all the artifacts get buffed. Um, pay to win, increased gold cost and duration from 10 to 50. This actually might not be a, a buff. This is just a change. So you need, it looks like you're going to need 50 gold to even trigger this, I think, because it says increased gold cost and duration from 10 to 50. So now I think it's 50-50 instead of 10-10. Um, the clipboard of grudges increases experience gain by 50%. Uh, the shield belt... The frozen shield belt is going to increase damage from 80 to 100 and then increases the status effect stacks. The burn shield. See, these are two of the weaker ones in the game that I almost never pick. And I probably still won't pick them because especially with the three added ones, I'll probably just take those over these now instead, too. But we'll see. I mean, maybe maybe the increased status effect stacks and the damage is worthwhile. I'm not really sure. But they did increase the damage in the stacks for both of them. Then we have the pop-up tripod, where we're going to increase max stats from 10 to 20, and the increased duration from 2 to 3 seconds. So that's kind of cool. So if you just want to stand still and just fire a lot, uh, that might be a good one. And then they added a bunch of quality of life fixes, which we're not going to go over all these. And then they added some localization. So again, a lot of cool stuff. They did a lot of good weapon. I think they did. I think the weapon balances are fair. Um, I'll be curious to see how good these two are now because these were the M1000 Classic and Thunderhead were probably the strongest ones in the game. But let's jump into the gameplay because I know everybody just wants to see the salt pits. Uh, so so let's jump into that and see. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played um haven't played the the new update yet. So I'm excited to see how how this works. Uh, we're gonna do a lower hazard. So we have salt pits. Okay, so we do have a bunch of new challenges. Oh, I can't even do the, the high hazard. We're going to do hazard three because this one is... I'm assuming this is going to be the new hardest difficulty in the game. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll do hazard three and see how it goes. Just to get a feel for the map, see how it plays, see what the new enemies are like. And we'll make sure we try to get a full clear. Um, let's run... Who do we want to run, though? I kind of want to run a mobility class, so let's just run the classic scout. Or no, let's run... Who do we want to run? Yeah, let's run the classic scout. Classic scout on the new map. I love the look of this map. This map looks great. I'll be curious to see how difficult it is, though. But I do like that, um... <laughs> this one looks like maybe it has a lot more, uh... Oh, there's the new bug type. There's the new enemy. Looks like this one's going to have a lot more. Yeah, this one's definitely going to have a lot more a rock and stone that we have to mine through, it looks like. That's probably what the gimmick of this map is. 
Because you know every map has a gimmick. Other than, I mean, Crystalline Cavern doesn't really have a gimmick, but... But that's what it looks like this map is. Alright, let's do reload speed. This one looks like it's just gonna... Oh my gosh, yeah. See, that's why, though. These rocks are easy... Oh, man. So the the brown rock is... It looks like the brown rock is quick to mine through. The stone... This is literally rock and stone. Uh, the stone is not easy. Oh my gosh, these new enemies. These new enemies are kind of nuts. They really throw off... I love this. They really throw off your pattern, like, where you want to go. Because the other enemies are generally predictable about where they're going. Uh, these ones are not. Because they don't chase you, they just roll around. We got supplies ready for you. Clear the landing zone for yeah, they don't chase you at all. That's, that's cool. Let's see how this works. Cool. Oh, then it gives you some, Oh, is this Nitra? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was going to give me Nitra. Uh, okay. It just gives me more things I need to mine. This map's cool. This is a cool map. I like this. This is fun. This uh, uh, this one, the driller might actually shine, though. Or a plasma weapon, you know? Let's do... Let's go with the bug taser. You know, this is going to be like a plasma map. You can build, like, a maze. This is sweet. This is a good idea. Good idea for a map. I like it. All right, let's do the damage. I don't really. We're not going to really do a specific plan here. We're ma mainly just showing off the map. Oh my gosh, these bouncers are so annoying, though. These are great. <laughs> great and annoying at the same time. Look how many of them there are. There's a lot of them. There's more than I would have expected. Okay, let's do the pickup radius. Yeah, this is literally rock and stone. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta go get it. Let's get this. Oh, man, I totally forgot about the supply drop. I was so focused on getting everything else and looking at the map and checking out these new enemies. We gotta get that supply drop, because, um... There might be one of the new things in there. If if we see a new one, we'll get it. Wait, what's that mine? The, oh, the mine icon. That's cool. So it shows you where... You, oh, wait, I don't want... I actually don't want to do that. Because that might kill the boss. Oh man, are we not going to be able to clear this? I'm already fudging up the first map. Or my first floor. Let's we'll see if we can do a loop. Yeah, this is relatively tough too. I mean, we're not we're not like overpowered here or anything. All right, let's do Sure, let's go. I, I guess we're going with an electrical build, right? Man, this is only Hazard 3, and this feels really tough. I'm glad we only did Hazard 3. These rolly bugs are really game changers. They really are. Okay, so we didn't see any of the new ones yet. So yeah, here's the new pay to win. So you have to you have to have 50 gold now to trigger it. Interesting. I wonder why they changed that. Um Okay, then let's do Oh, they oh, okay. I bet you I know why they did it because that way if you only have like 40 gold, it doesn't waste all your gold. That's probably why. Because no one was picking it early. So now, as long as you stay under 50 gold or something, or if you stay like at 90... Like right now, I have 99 gold. I could do this and get 100% buff. 
or 50 seconds, and I'll still keep 49 of my gold. That's actually not too bad. We'll take the crit goggles, or the, the powder. That's actually, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool now, actually, how that works. I didn't really think of it like that. Look at this. This is Hazard 3. How am I supposed to get on this ship? Let's do that fire rate. This is that this is crazy. This is really difficult. Alright, let's do the damage. Okay, let's get back on now. Okay, let's do the plasma carbine. And we can hit level 17. Let's do move speed. Alright, let's do we have let's do damage. I want to buff up. I think I want to buff up this guy. Let's buff up this guy because I want to do the plasma carbine now more than anything. Um, let's do that move speed. Let's do the mining speed for sure. Then we'll just do that damage and we'll call it. This one's a good one for mining speed because, I mean, obviously there's a lot to mine. I can't even imagine how hard Hazard 5 is going to be. guys have a lot of HP, too. These bouncy guys, these rolly guys. Just imagine how many of these guys are going to be on hazard, on the high hazard. Those are pretty cool. So it looks like they're going to drop in the direction that you're facing. So you want to aim it, I guess, towards the, towards the largest stack of enemies. Go, 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 hurry, hurry. Okay. Man, we still haven't gotten any of the new ones. So this is, a, they got a, this one got a huge XP. Well, I think it got it. I, I wish it would tell you how much XP it, um, how much it does. Um, let's try it. I mean, I'll just take it. I don't really like those other two options either, so. All right, let's do you. I'm bummed we haven't seen any of the new ones yet, though. Hopefully we see those soon. All right, this big guy's chasing me. Okay, so, like, if I... I'm going to take maybe take some hits here. Like, if I am it like that, it's going to drop right on that. Kind of, okay. So it does it, like, in a arc around you. Let's do the luck. Okay, we're going to keep with the plasma. If I would have known the map was like this, I would have went plasma from the beginning. We'll definitely do some plasma runs on this map, though. Well done. You got them all. All right, let's do that reload speed. We're gonna do the piercing. And it, it gives you, like, a shield, too. I didn't even think of it like that, either. It does give you a shield. Um, all right. We'll go with that reload speed. You know, it blocks the enemies off from you. That's pretty sweet, actually. Feels so 
We're hecka fast too. Alright, let's go. We need to go find more resources though. Let's do the HP. I know, I oh, passed up the critical, but we don't have any critical items yet. I do kind of keep mistaking these guys for loot bugs though. I can see that being a little bit of an issue. That's kind of tough. Just kind of like at first glance, you know, you see him and you're like, oh, loot bug. Did I just not see any nitro this map either? Watch it. The threat level is increasing. That would be cool if this was nitro, like if nitro dropped. There's got to be nitro down here, right? All right, let's do the cryo grenade. We got we got just the crazy build going right here. We got two. We got a an electric. Um, oh man, let's try to get out of here without really getting hit. We got an electric assault rifle, we got a bug taser, we got a plasma carbine, and now we got a cryo grenade. I'm raring to try this out. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. All right, let's do the damage. Stage two completed. Taking you closer to your target. Alright, let's do fire rate and reload, I think. Or should we just do, yeah, yeah, let's burn them. Let's burn them. Who cares? Let's go with every uh, element type here. Alright, let's um take that, because I like getting fire rate on this gun. We'll do you. Let's do that mining speed again. Uh, I want to buy that, but I can't. All right, let's buy the fire rate again, and then we'll go. There's beasties to shoot and work to be done. Get to it, miner. This map seems really well balanced because I like that it's basically all rock and stone, but I'm happy that the rock is really easy to mine through. So that kind of makes it fair. You know, if it was all stone, this map would this map would suck. I don't think this map would be as good if they made it all really hard to mine, but since it's kind of like the looser rock in the other maps, it it makes it a lot more balanced and fair. And then I love the stalagmite drops too. I think I think there's a lot of cool strategy for that, like providing you a shield, killing some enemies. I think certain classes are obviously going to shine in this, like maybe... I mean, Driller's still, I think, the weakest class in the game. And you might not even really need the Driller because you can mine through this rock so quick that it might not be that imperative. But I think Plasma's going to really shine on this map. And then the new enemy types are obviously awesome. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be a fun map to play. How have we not seen any of the new ones? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do the nitro, I guess. Yeah, those those are gonna be really good too. The mining ones are gonna be excellent on this map, where you get the gold or gold or nitra those are gonna be really good on this map because there's so much to mine and it's so easy to mine through this all right there's nitra that I need to get 
I guess I don't need to, but... I was hoping to level up this, um... Oh, this is actual rock. I was hoping to level up this plasma carbine a bit more. But I gotta remember, too, it's Hazard 3, so the, uh... The, um, XP gains are gonna be a little bit different. The last boss is going to be pretty tough on this map, though, because um, you're not going to have as much area to move through. You're going to have to make sure you clear out uh, some of the map before you yeah. trigger him, I think. These rolly guys are awesome. I love them. Really, really, really smart enemy to add into this game. Because it just totally messes with your movement pattern. It's kind of like the flying bugs. Like, it looks like they don't have the flying bugs on this map. The fly Whatever the flyers are. So they probably replace those with these. But they're, just, they're also so annoying, though. Oh, there's a magnet. Um, let's kill a little bit first. And then we'll go get that magnet. Let's just pick it up, because now I'm afraid that we're going to loop around too much and not get it. Alright, let's do the electrical damage, I guess. Um, projectile damage. These are bad level ups. We hardly saw any plasma. We got our assault rifle going, but... Clear out these guys now. Electrical critical chance. No, I, I don't care about that. Let's just do this. Uh, let's do the damage. I don't want to nerf my other weapons. Or do we? I guess we do. Who cares? My other weapons suck anyways. Maybe we can, maybe we can make up for it. Oh, see. Oh, man. <laughs> Could you imagine if I was... Oh, man. Can I not... <laughs> Could you imagine if that, like, if I waited a little bit longer and that blocked me from getting on? Okay, let's do fire rate, because I want to get this weapon going. Um, Let's buy the pickup radius. Okay, let's do... Yeah, let's do this so I can get you going. Let's do the clip size. Oh, and then I can afford you still, too. Huh? Cool. Okay, let's do that pickup radius. Alright, we'll do the bug zapper since it's there. We'll give... Okay, we'll do the... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do... We'll give all our other weapons a 25% damage buff. Since we took that other one to nerf. So that way our plasma carbine gets a little bit better. And our assault rifle just gets better. Okay. Load up and get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. Let's get the job done.
chest. I saw that guy and instantly just thought he was a loot bug. You know, just for a split second, you know, you think it. Oh, that guy rolled right into me. That's not fair. the projectile damage because I don't care about my other weapons. Man, those guys just go ham now. Did they always do that? Did they always purposely go through the rock to try to get to you? get this guy overclocked. I was afraid we weren't going to, but we saw some pretty good up, uh, upgrades this last uh, couple times. Let's just mine it. This does give us XP. Got nothing else to do right now while we wait. We have a supply pod prepped for you. We need DLZ clear. All right, we're due. We're due for. Oh, I wonder if no. Oh, I wonder if I. I bet you that box is still. Yeah, that. I don't know if that's the right decision. <laughs> Ooh, this one's gonna be. Ooh, I don't know if I can get this, guys. At least not right now. Reload speed. We're just gonna kind of loop all the way around up through this thing. Man, all these bouncers—they make it so hard. There might, there might be too many bouncers, right? There's too many bouncers, right? It's not just me. <laughs> that was like, there's too many. No new ones again. Wow. Oh, All right, well, yeah. we'll take we'll take the Okay, we're going to do the Let's see. We're going to do the sawn off. Just fire out an insane amount of bullets. All right, let's do the reload speed on you, sure. Yeah, that's there's a little too many, a little too many bouncers. Oh, let's let's get on. You really need to be vigilant in trying to kill them. Okay, we'll take the legendary damage, I guess. Okay, last floor. We'll see how this works with the boss, because this will be. Let's see. Um, I'm actually going to do... Oh, man. I'm going to be... I'm going to be just short to afford both of these. I am going to do this one, though, because... This one, I think, is going to be our better weapon. And I want to make sure that... I want to get, like, two... I want to get two upgrades for that. Nothing for me here. Let's try again. Let's re-roll. What else we got? Oh, legendary. No, okay, but that's fine because we'll get the damage. I can actually get both of these now. Perfect. That was that, that worked perfect. We'll do that mining speed. So I don't have gold tip, right? Yeah, I don't have gold tip, so I can kind of just spend my gold now. Let's shake it up. 
Let's do. I'm gonna be the best do one more. Then we'll do the fire rate on projectiles. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try to clear out as much as I can, so that way I can maneuver around the boss. Because you don't want to get this map. I could see your, it being really, really easy to get stuck, you know, in um in these rocks, and then you have nowhere to go, and then the boss is gonna jump on you and kill you. So it's probably smart to try to clear out as much as you can. Mining speed is definitely going to be crucial on this map. You're cute, but you're dead. That way you can just kind of... We almost run through it like it's nothing now, because I picked up a decent amount of mining speed. So here's our stats for this last one. We have 68% mining speed. Ooh, look at all the loot bugs down here. Look how fast we move through this. It's so quick. See, those guys didn't always do that, right? That's that feels like new enemy behavior. I knew I know they could go through it, but it I never really noticed them beelining it straight through. The, min the rocks to try to get to you. They always just kind of crushed it as um as they were coming towards you. Okay, let's do the fire rate. I guess we can do this one. I wish I could come back. I wish I could come back and get this later. I'm not going to take that movement speed to buff. We do have 54 movement speed. It's going to give me a 30. That's going to give me... So it's going to give me... Oh my gosh, let's do it. We're still going to be fast enough. Alright, let's do the movement give me, give me, speed. <laughs> we got we got quite a few movement speed buffs, so we're sitting pretty good, I think, with that movement speed. If this wasn't hazard three, I probably wouldn't have taken that, but since it is hazard three, I think we're fine. We have four I have four hundred and thirty HP too. I didn't even realize I had so much HP. What's our damage at? 298%. Alright, let's do the reload speed. Alright, let's just get this bug out and we'll call it a dub, hopefully. Yeah, see, this shouldn't be too hard. He's gonna go down so quick. I'm tempted to try to get that thing to drop on him, but I don't want to risk it. All right, yeah. See, that was easy. That was easy. All right, that was super cool. What a very cool. The map. I like this map. I do. Um, the rolly bugs could be 
become something. <laughs> they could become something else, though, especially in Hazard 5. They're going to be a pest. They're going to be so hard to deal with. You're going to be getting it feels like you're going to be hit, getting hit a lot. So you're going to need something that can hopefully take care of those bugs. Man, that's interesting. Um, it'll be cool, too. Maybe you want to get something that's going to destroy terrain like your turrets. Um, you can get the the LMG and the flamethrower turret to destroy terrain. You can get the some of the grenades will destroy terrain. There's a lot of cool different strategies you could try to do on this map. Uh, the arc, the coil gun, that would be a really good one for destroying terrain. Yeah, there's, there's a lot you can do here. So yeah, pretty, pretty sweet map with a lot of strategies. I, I do like the new enemy types. They may need to tone them down a little bit. Unfortunately, we didn't see any of the new artifacts though, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, for the most part, I think it's a really good update. I mean, this is the first update and they already added, the game's only been out mm, a month. The game's been out a month now, right? So... Within a month, they added a new biome, uh, three new artifacts, and then some quality of life updates. So that's not bad. I hope they keep up that pace. I don't know if they'll be able to, but I would love it if they could keep up that pace of kind of doing, kind of doing an update every month, every other month. Some games take a little too long to put out updates. Some games we've been waiting for like four or five months now, which is a little too long because it kills all the hype for those games. So hopefully they can keep up with the updates. But there we go. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like, please subscribe. Uh, please drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the new update. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.